Hello, welcome back to the Spiders Web. And in this video, we're going to be making some destroyed tank markers. It's you know, like smoky stuff. But I made a start already. I didn't want to show you all the boring stuff. What I've done is got some of these um, MDF circles that were saved from when I put my paint rack together. Uh, from TT Combat, it was the, the paint rack I got for Vallejo. Um, and I, uh, you have to pull, push all these out. So I saved them all because I thought they might come in useful. And I've also attached two um, washers to each one. Just to show that, no, just to give it a little more strength. I'm not happy with the surround, so what I'm going to do first of all with this is just go around and take the edge off the MDF. Now in some cases, it's somewhere, or some tire, I'll get this right eventually. In some parts of this, you're not going to get much of the um edge off it because it's uh very very close to the um thingamabob the washers but i'm doing what i can and i'm just taking off any of these little nubs as well that we use to attach it to the main part of the um sheets for the different paint levels paints and levels there we are. that's all i'm doing i'm not going overboard and then what i've done is i've got some wire wool we can use other stuff i've got some wire wool and i basically shaped it to the shape i want it and it's going to stand like that it's not going to look like this permanently but it's going to just do the job as i want it for the time being so using some hot glue I'm going to cover this with hot glue and I mean cover it. So I'm going to smother it completely in the hot glue. I'm also going to make sure that I've got enough sticks of hot glue that it's not going to all go to waste. So I'll say let's cover our everything with it really make it um a good gobule all over just like so and then with the um what you call it the uh wire wall and that's basically that's all i'm going to be doing with all of these for construction then i'm going to have them with uh, facing different ways and you know billowing out they're all going to be different i'm not going to make them all exactly the same some are going to be leaning one way and whatnot but what i am going to do as well is i'm going to go over and all around the base with this because I don't want it looking too recognisable as being a sheet of MDF. There we are. Oh, a piece of MDF, not a sheet of MDF. So, all of these bits you can just rub off or use a scrap piece of board. Um, this is the board I use for doing spray painting on, as you may be able to tell. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that with each of these, and it will leave me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to have ten of these markers all together. Um, so I'm going to speed up the footage a little bit and 
um, put some music on. There we are, and that was um, our first lot of damage markers that we've made. Now, yeah, I'm doing them mainly for Flames of War. They are a little big for Flames of War, I must admit, but um, they will be useful for other games as well. I don't particularly like the base on this one, so I'm just going to go around and remelt the glue and see if we can add some more So you can always add some. As, as you can see, that's not that's not a big problem. Um, you know, as I say, it's yeah. They may not be. What's the word I'm looking for? They may not be exactly the right scale for Flames of War maybe a little too big but they're going to be sitting on top of tanks and 
the gun ashore when the tanks have been destroyed. So, obviously, if the tanks are destroyed, then there's going to be smoke and stuff coming off them. So, there we are. Now, once all the glue is dried properly, I'm just going to unplug my glue gun and move it out of the way because I don't particularly want to burn my fingers on them. You can get your scissors once more and come back in and give it a little bit of a haircut. You don't want it looking too thick. We'll just thin it down a little bit. Get off. Um, just taper it off near the top. There we are. And that should be quite a good fit for your flames of water tank. There we are. That's how it looks. Now, that is how it looks for the moment. What we haven't done yet is get around to painting. Is this done? Yes it is. Right, so I'm going to put these over here for a little bit. I'm not going to be using my um what do you call it? Tonight my um I'm not going to be using my spray booth tonight. Blow some of this way wool then out of the way. Start off with a little bit of Ferrari red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven drops. And a spot of the thinner. A bit too much thinner there, but never mind. Do what I usually do and test it on the oh yeah that will do and we'll just go from the bottom and take it up. Covering most of this, especially from down at the base. I'm not exactly sure whether I should be priming this or not. I want to do this one first without priming, see how it looks. in a little bit of medium yellow so I'll put one two three drops of medium yellow in I'm not adding any more thinner I just want to make this look very orange I'm going up from the base covering a, a little bit of this
I suppose it might be much easier if you can use something like a teddy bear filling something like that rather than wire wool or crime it first I'm going to do one primed and one without it being primed I'm just going to add a little bit more thinner or thinner with this give it a a back flush and spray it out into my um, cleaner cleaning tub there we are and that should do it I think sometimes it can take a little bit not a little bit longer and there we are I can tell by the sound there okay and now we're going to go in with some more medium yellow and this time we're going to do four drops a little one drop of filler that thinner why do I keep saying filler I don't know and with this we just do a little bit around the bottom because that's where the happy part of any fire is going to be so I'm going to do this one like this and I'm going to prime another one in grey and then I'm going to prime another one in white is that it? No, nope, there's a little bit more left. I'll just run it through. There we are. And now we're going to go with black. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With a drop of thinner. Give it a little back flow. Try it out. Yep, that's looking black. Oops. And now this time we are doing the top. Just like so. And we're coming down and doing a few. Alright. Going into the red a little bit, and the yellow, but red and orange, but we're not um, I'm sure what I'm looking for. We're not covering it all up, but we do, we do want it quite black near the top. There we are. That is. Our, it's one of our widgets, so I'm just going to spray that out. There we are. And now the second one I think I'm going to do with a grey primer. Oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, crap in hell, my chair just broke. I think. Now I'll talk at that in a minute. I'm not happy if it has. Well, I'm just going to have to hold it in my hand. And put that one out of the way. Yep, 
not quite do the job. Doesn't take much. And then the second one, or the third one, I want to do. a little bit so just a small small plume like it's just been and with this one I'm going to with this one I'm going to um, prime it in white I just want to oh, excuse me I just want to see what the difference is Now this white is not showing up as white, it's showing up still as grey. That's because the wire wool is grey. And as you can see, it's actually clinging to the wire wool in drops. So I'm not sure whether that's going to work or not. But we will see. So I'm not going to do them all now, I just want to do these first of all to see how they go. Um, what the hell, that's actually drying up. So let's put you aside for the time being. And let's start again, this time in reverse order. have three different ones now I'll turn my pump off for a second 
So this is the first one we did. This is the one that wasn't primed. You can still see some of the filaments of unpainted um, wire wall coming through. And then you've got the one that was painted or primed grey. Again, this is more clumped together. Yeah. And this is the last one we did, which was um, primed white. I'm not, this I'm not going to do. I, I don't know what it says. The white doesn't seem to work with it. The corners are more vivid down at the bottom, I think. But I don't know, there's something about the look that I'm not too keen on. So let's see how they fur on top of the tank. Well, that's definitely blown up. <laughs> and that, yeah, they're all quite depicting a blown up tank so yeah i am quite happy with those but um we're going to be carrying on with more um flames of war stuff over the coming weeks um i still have to paint the the rest of the um of these destroyed tank markers smoke markers whatever you want to call them i'm not going to do them all on camera you see now i'm going to do them um, I just need some advice as to which one to go with. A, no primer. B, grey primer. C, white primer. Let me know what you think. But, as I said, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, as always, stay safe and take care. God bless and bye for now.